uh, hey everyone this is Makan welcome all of you to my channel so in this session i will discuss uh, most expected questions for brc 2022 so in this session i will discuss nearly 14 to 15 questions so let's have a quick discussion on the questions okay so the first question is stating that there are four particles in a one dimensional box of length l uh, then the if the particles are fermions and the bosons and the classical particles then the uh, energy order will be like so this is a very fantastic question so one should try it so question is stating this is a particle in a box and you have four particles with you so uh, two three and four particles if all the are fermions if all the bosons are on the all the classical particles okay so what will the energy order so if you all the particles are fermions uh, then uh, they can be arranged like one in each set so total energy will be e1 plus e2 plus e3 plus e4 so in this case energy will be e1 plus e2 that is 4 e1 plus e3 that is 9 e1 plus e4 that is 16 e1 so i think this will be 30 e1 but in case of boson if you all the particular boson then you can arrange like 1 2 3 4 in the ground state so in this case energy will be 4 e1 and if all the classic particles are classical like a b c d then you also can arrange like this all the classical particle in an unregistered e1 so in this case energy will be also 4 e1 so e f for the fermions will be greater than e b that is bosons is equal to e classical okay so option b will be correct to the answer uh, so this is the correct option to the question so the next question is from the complex analysis this is very straightforward uh, to find the residue of this complex function at z is equal to 2i so let's uh, simplify this function as z square minus 2z by z plus 1 whole square into z plus 2i into z minus 2i okay so if you ask to calculate residue at uh, z equal to 2i the residue will be the limit z tends to 2i it will be z minus 2i uh, into this function into this function if you place this function over here so this term will be cancelled with this term so you will get with z square minus 2z by z plus 1 whole square into z plus 2i so put z equal to 2i and calculate the value so this is this will be the answer to the question so move to the next question this is a very fine question from uh, thermodynamics point of view so a classical uh, a gas consists of non-interacting and identical particles so non-interacting and identical particles energy depend upon the momentum like energy is equal to c uh, p mod to the power n uh, then your energy per particle okay so i should uh, um, mention here that one can solve this question like finding the partition function first z is equal to 2 pi m by beta root over uh, or 2 into 0 to infinite integration e to the power minus over energy that is cp to the power n okay cp to the power n over dp okay otherwise i think the answer will be energy will be uh, d by n over t and d is dimension that is taken as three dimension t and n over this is power n and t so i think this will be the answer to the question so you can check this answer by this and once you get the partition function over here you can have the average energy like minus del by del beta of ln z okay so move to the next question so next question from the solid state physics and this question is stating that which of the following uh, lines does not uh, does the diffraction pattern of metallic sodium like to contain which of the following following does the diffraction pattern of metallic sodium like contain so if you see this question a uh, metallic sodium okay so i think sodium nacl is fcc but for the metallic sodium but metallic sodium uh, i think uh, uh, crystallized to bcc okay so so metallic sodium crystallized to bcc so for the bcc the reflection condition is h plus k plus l should be even okay so this is the uh, uh, diffraction condition or the condition for the allowed reflection in case of bcc so let's check which option is uh, uh, correct so in this case h plus k plus l is 3 here h plus k plus is 2 and here h plus k plus l is 4 and this is also 2 so this 3 option will be correct but uh, 
if this question is for nacl no doubt this option will be correct and this option will be incorrect this option will be incorrect for nacl but uh, metal sodium as much i know this is crystallized to bcc and for bcc the uh, allowed condition is s plus k plus l should be even okay so uh, try it uh, matlab, uh, so go through this question and uh, have a disc uh, have a resource on this question so you may get the answer okay so move to the next question this is a question from solid state physics so this is the question stating that the specific heat of non-magnetic metal uh, can be expected to behave as low temperature as uh, as you know as low temperature total uh, specific heat of a solid is 80 plus btq so the option will be uh, this option a will be correct the answer if it is stating about the electronic specific heat that only cb equal to it will the answer this is electronic specific heat if lattice specific heat then it will be btq the lattice specific heat okay so don't be confused on this question so next question is from the solid state physics also this question is stating that for a free electron of energy e and wave vector is k inside a periodic potential that is one dependent model question the group velocity will be so you know vg equal to d omega by dk and you multiply h cot here and d by dk over h cot omega so it will be transformed into 1 by h cot de by dk this will be vg okay so several times uh, so question is framed so 1 by h cot de by dk option c will be the correct answer to the question so the next question from the quantum mechanics this is very easy question the wave function is given like c1 psi naught plus c2 psi 1 so you have to calculate the average energy so average energy calculation will be c1 square plus e0 plus c2 square over e2 sorry e1 and it is from the quantum harmonic oscillator so it will be c1 square e0 will be half h cot omega c2 square e1 will be 3 by 2 h cot omega okay so this option will be correct answer to the question so next question is from the quantum mechanics this is a question from dirac delta potential the number of bound state supported by an attractive uh, this attractive potential described the dirac delta function so number of bound state is one okay and the ground state wave function should be like this this is very important question in brc interview a lot of times the people asked about this potential and how to solve the solidary equation draw the wave function and what will the energy eigen value so if you are selected for the interview then please go through direct delta function so next question is from quantum uh, angular momentum and you have to solve this question that is commutation of lx over ly pz uh, plus ly pz lx so this is very easy question right? so lx uh, l ly pz commutation will be i h cot px okay px uh, then plus ly pz lx pz lx will be minus i h cot okay i h cot minus of py okay so once again use uh, take i h cot outside then lx px will be zero then ly py will be zero so option a will be correct so next question from the uh, opam the electronic so what will the output so this is a very easy question so let's uh, take this as a node a this is the node b okay so two point here is a node here is a node so in this node if you apply nodal so let's this potential is va so it will be va minus 0 by r2 plus va minus v1 by r1 equal to 0 so calculate va here so calculate va here so your va will be equal to this potential vb in this terminal b so va will be vb because the negative feedback is there so you can apply virtual ground concept so va will be vb then once again apply nodal at this point b that is vb minus v2 by r1 this is v2 okay r1 plus vb minus v output by r2 equal to 0 so replace v, vb in term of va and your va in term of v1 so your answer will be in term of v1 okay this is a question so next question for mathematical physics so this question is uh, stating that you have to find this integral minus infinite to plus infinite e to the power minus s square 
एस थ्री अफ एक्स दैट इज हरमाइट पलिनोम अफ वर्ड अफ थ्री दिस इज पी टू एक्स लेजेंडरी पलिनोम ओवर डी एक्स सो डायरेक्टली सफ्टिट्यूट एस थ्री एक्स एंड पी टू एक्स क्याकुलेट दिस इंटीग्रेशन ओके सो दे दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रम द पार्टिकल इन ए बक्स द क्वेश्चन स्टेटिंग द आइजिन फंक्शन साइ एक्स अफ दोडिंजर इक्वेशन फर ए पार्टिकल एम इन एन इनफानेट स्कोर पोटेनसियल इज इज दिस इज द पोटेनसियल कंडिशन एंड वही फंक्शन इज गिवेन लाइक ओके सो दिस इज एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो एंड दिस इज एक्स इक्वल टू ए सो बॉक्स इज एंडिंग हियर सो व्हाट विल द एनर्जी सो फ्रॉम द वेव फंक्शन यू मे क्लियर व्हाट इज द नोड हियर नोड इज वन एंड टू सो नोड इज इक्वल टू टू सो इट इज द एन वेव फंक्शन करेस्पिंग टू एन इक्वल टू टू सो बिकॉज नंबर ऑफ नोड इज इक्वल टू एन इन द इन द सॉरी नंबर ऑफ नोड इज इक्वल टू एन माइनस वन सो हियर नंबर ऑफ नोड इज इक्वल टू टू सो दैट एन उल बी टू प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू थ्री ओके सो योर एन इक्वल टू थ्री सो योर एनर्जी उल बी एच एन ए स्क्वायर एन स्क्वायर एच स्क्वायर स्क्वायर पाए स्क्वायर बाय टू एम एल स्क्वायर सो इट उल बी नाइन एच स्क्वायर स्क्वायर पाए स्क्वायर बाय टू एम एल स्क्वायर सो ऑप्शन ए उल करेक्ट आंसर ओके बिकॉज सर्स टाइप ऑफ इन सर्स टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू शुड फाइंड द नंबर ऑफ नोड हियर नोड इज टू सो यू नो एन इक्वल टू नोड इज इक्वल टू एन माइनस वन सो एन उल बी नोड प्लस वन because for uh, n your node is equal to n minus 1 so n will be node plus 1 so node here node is 2 plus 1 3 so n is equal to 3 state is 3 that is uh, that is your second excited state okay so for second excited state your n node will be 9h cos square pi square by 2 ml square so this is a question from quadrupole moment from the nuclear point of view the quadrupole moment of a nuclear measures the deformation of the charge density distribution okay so this is a question from solid state physics uh, in a diffraction experiment x ray photon wave vector k gets scattered to the final state with wave vector k prime is equal to k plus g g is a reciprocal lattice vector then the bragg uh, condition will be so you know the condition is j g square plus k dot g equal to 0 this is the uh, condition for the lau condition also bolte hum so option b will be the correct answer to the question so thank you so much for watching my video thank you for your support Stay tuned keep your preparation well okay thank you